第二十五对表演的题目是 International Cooperation in Combating Crimes. 计时开始。A mother is about to find out how her son did on his college entrance exam. Mom, I. What is this, Walker? Is this a joke? Mom, I, I tried my best. Your best? You call this your best? Your dad is a doctor, and I'm a government official. This is the best you can do. You stay in your room all day. Who knows what you're doing in there? I am studying, Mom. Be quiet. I don't want to hear your excuses. Your classmates all did well, except you. Wait till your father finds out. Oh, hello, Mrs. Lee. Is Walker home? Yeah, he's in his room. Hey, man. Congratulations. The exam is finally over. Let's go celebrate. My score. It's absolutely awful. How did you do it, Kevin? How did you do so well so easily? You hardly studied during senior high. And now you're in medical school. Well, I had some help. What help? Tell me. No, forget I mentioned anything. Kevin, please. My mom is furious. And my dad doesn't know yet. But once he finds out, you know how my dad is. I'm begging you, Kevin. All right, look. I took, I took this. It's actually a pharmaceutical drug that helped me concentrate more. But I don't think it's legal in Taiwan. So they're legal, right? Can I try it? Look, I don't know how you all. I shall be fine. Hey, you, you take so much. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I think I feel better already. Yeah, let's go out. I need to relax. I've been way too stressed lately. Hey, there's a new movie called Crazy Rich Asian. And I think it's... Walker, you OK? Walker! Oh, no. What should I do? I need to get out of here. Walker, your dad called and he... Walker, wake up. Walker? Walker, wake up! Walker! Oh my god, what happened? Somebody help! What have I done? It, it, it was an accident. If I'm called by the police, I'll be imprisoned. What should I do? I better leave the country.
The close cooperation between Taiwan and Philippines has been beneficial for both sides. Not only have we increased our trade output, education, and technological exchanges, our bilateral crime investigation have had blistering success in catching overseas criminals, captured criminals guilty of drug trafficking, telephone fraud, or even murder have decreased dramatically due to our cooperation. We hope to find continued success in reducing crime and promoting safety for Taiwan and all our allies in the years to come. The former Philippine Vice President Guigona said that, We help each other, the Philippines to help Taiwan, and Taiwan to help the Philippines. Thank you. A minor step toward a brighter future. So, how's your summer vacation? I mean, did you meet your Mr. Rai? Oh, no. But I met a girl in Singapore. A girl? Yes, she has come here as an extra student. And I invite her to go with us. Great, I can't wait to see her. Let's go. Come on. Education. 
第二十七队表演的题目是 When we are tied together 计时开始 Keep pushing! We are getting close to the nursing home! I'm sick of this muddy rocks! Are you alright? Yes! I got it! Get in the car! You don't have to do this! No! I want to help! There you go! Come on! Let's go! your life. Oh, kid, you could have left. Now, I realize that you are not showing sure up. You really want to make a difference. Helping the sick is not just my duty as a medical volunteer. It's also an obligation. An obligation? Exactly. Since my mom is from Thailand, I have been thinking how to be a bridge between Taiwan and Thailand. I see. That's why you come here to volunteer. But you're leaving. Although I cannot stay longer this time, I promise I'll be back soon. I'm applying for a renovation project sponsored by Taiwan. I know. I'm also involved in that project. We aim to renovate your house with high-tech devices. What a wonderful design. Your life will be so much better once the project is done. Oh, I'm so surprised that Taiwan and Thailand have been working on such a wonderful project. There's more than that. Talent exchange is a critical part in the new southbound policy. Mm, indeed. You know, I will be going to Taiwan next year to get more practical experience. So, is it possible <coughs> that I can also study or work in Taiwan? Absolutely. Just Google New Southbound Policy Taiwan MOFA. You will get all the information you need. Great. Then I can learn Chinese in Taiwan. 
and my dream to a guide career will be possible. Good to know that. But guys, I think it's time for our patient to rest. Bye, Mrs. Duke. Take care. surgical skill to help more patients. How about you, Mrs. Duke? I feel younger and healthier now because my living quality has changed. Guess who is here? Sawati Hi, guys. How are you doing? I got funding from Taiwan to run my clinic here. It's good to see you three youngsters have got a brand new life. When we are tied together, we can definitely be stronger. Exactly. Together, stronger. For a promising future. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> 第二十八队表演的题目是 O、oh, Captain, Give It a Shot. 计时开始 Twas a hot, humid night in the summer of 1869. Pirate Captain Brownbeard was attacking a group of traders. In order to save the love of his life, kidnapped by the enemy ship. Guys, come! Shit on your team first! Wow! Fabulous costume you got there. Which film are you starring in? What do you mean? Hey, show some respect. I, Song Chai, assistant film producer of the legendary filmmaker Akka Chapan, will not accept this. I, I'm overstepped, sir. I'm just going out of my mind. To save my wife. Apology accepted. Now I have an appointment with a special effects designer, and you're invited to star in our new movie, Pirates of the Muaga Strait. If you agree with our terms, I promise to help you out with any problem. Deal, Captain Brobier, at your service. I wasn't strong enough to save you, my love, but I promise I won't fail again. Hello. This is Director Krennic. I'm gonna ask for a result of my application. Not impressive, really. Oh, all right, I see. Thank you. You underestimate my power, dude. What the? Hey, wait. This is Star Wars guy from Taiwan. We're in the drama club together. Remember? Oh, Raj, the exchange student from India, right? How have you been? Terrific. I've just landed a job as a special effects designer. How about you? Well, I uh, I can't find a place in Hollywood. I don't know how to support my family. I'm just a simple man trying to make my way in the universe. Dude, don't fret. You're in luck. My production team is now standing director like you. The producer I'm meeting was once an assistant of Apicha Palm. We won the 2010 Cannes Film Festival. Join me. And together, we can rule the movie industry. Aha! Well, I'm in. Ah, Krennic, me producer Sunshine. Sir, this is Mr. Krennic. Believe me, this is the director you're looking for. Pleased to meet you. And this is our waiting man. <laughs> Miss Captain Brownbeard! So, when I was assistant producer of Aki Chapan, I walked around the clock for him. Our movies were the best of Taiwan. Wait, Aku Cha, Cha, what? Haven't you heard the movies Tropical Melody or Cemetery of Splendor? Those were my ideas. Yeah, Aku Cha gets all the credit, and I'm still a nobody. That makes two of us. I know exactly how you feel. And now is the time to turn the tables. I dare say, the movie industry of India is now the back office of Hollywood. I should know. I helped design the movie scenes in the Jungle Book, which won the Oscar in the visual effects category. Yes! I hope to achieve this. We are the spark that will light the fire, which will bring light to the movie industry. So, how should we get the fundings for our film? You must have heard the program launched by Taiwanese government called Elroad Initiative. Oh, yes! 
It's a program that aims to increase Taiwanese citizens' understanding of Southeast Asian culture. Oh, yo, ho, ho. My wife loves emeralds. They are very shiny and bring a lot of money. Indeed, a huge sum of money. If our project is approved, the program offers grants up to 500,000 new Taiwan dollars. Then I say we apply for this Emerald Initiative. Oh, Captain, give it a shot. Hey, we're not ready this. Emerald, here I come! that we were destined for the first place. Special thanks to our producer from Thailand, the charismatic leader of our team. And thanks to a special effects designer from India, who injected the innovative elements into our film. Without the extraordinary minds of people like you, I would never have accomplished my dreams. Hey, what about me? What about my payment? How could I forget? Without your marvelous acting, we would have achieved the first place. Here, you earned every bit of this. Shiver me timbers! Ah, I, I don't know what to say! I, no, my money! No. Where, where'd he go? Whoa, a wormhole! I've always suspected that he's a time traveler. He acted so well because he was a pirate. Pity he didn't get his money. Thank you. The 29队表演的题目是 Innovation from, from Tradition to Inspiration. We're finally here. Yeah. And look, there's a hut. And the girl is. It's so strange. Let's go and take a look. Hello. Excuse me. You should leave right now. Sorry, we didn't mean to bother you. And can you tell us why we can stay here? I'm supposed not to approach anyone since I'm undergoing a period. A period? It's a taboo for us to talk this issue, especially to males. Oh, we are sorry about that. Thank you for telling us. We just arrived and want to understand the culture more. We're so sorry, and we'll leave you now. Anyone here? Namaste. You guys are. Nice to meet you. We are here for the volunteering. Oh, you must be Jason and Maggie. Come on in. Have a seat, please. So, what about you guys to Nepal? We just joined a one challenge, one change project, and we want to offer our help here. Oh, great. So, did you see anything special? Yeah, we wonder why there is a girl in the hut alone. She seems unhappy. Saying something is a taboo. Well, she's practicing a traditional culture. We call it chapati. Women having their periods are kept away from the house and village. Why should the women do that? Because in our religion, it is considered unclean and may bring bad luck. Why? It's nature for every woman. So in Taiwan, we can even have a day off. Well, our culture is different than yours. No way! You couldn't do that to a poor woman. The hut is so dirty. They may get infections. Women here suffer too much. How terrible! You need to make a change. Excuse me. I might have to ask you guys to leave if you keep criticizing our tradition. No offense, but... No, I... sorry. I need to rest now. Please leave me alone. That's really horrible. We should do something for the poor women. I'm going to have a period. Can I stay home this time? No way. You have to go. You're my wife and I'm the chief. We are the models. She'll never break the rules. Good night. 
to make up for them. But how? Well, maybe we can ask the volunteers. Yes, yes, that's, that's right. right. Chief? Chief? Hi, guys. Come in, please. So, after you guys left, I thought a lot last night. And Yes, you guys are right. It's time to make a change. That's really good news. Mm. And I'm wondering how I can help them. Actually, we're thinking a lot, and we brought this for you. My friends made it with their own clothes. The pad is made of organic cotton and reusable. There are lots of cotton farms here, so we can get this pad into mass production. Yes, my mom works in a charity, and she owns her help in this project. I guess we can turn the hubs into workshops and offer more jobs here. All the women will be happy. We'll do our best to support you. What are we waiting for? Let's, Let's take action! action. A year later. Yes, I saw your order on our website. No problem, I'll just handle it. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Hey, Maggie, hey. one more company joined to sell our products. Wow, well, that's great. Let's tell the chief the good news. Hello, this is Maggie and Jason. Hello, is the chief there? Speaking. Hi, Maggie. The project is doing well. All the women in our village are using them and busy producing it. Wow. It prevents females from hiding in the darkness and gives us dignity. If you have any problem, just call us anytime. Namaste. 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 The third round of the performance is Bao Wei Hi, Vivian. How's everything in New Zealand? The working came down the orchard is fun, but kind of demanded. As you can see, I'm sweating like a pig now. That's weird. I thought it wouldn't be so hot in New Zealand. Probably because of the climate change. It's hotter than it's supposed to be. And what's worse is that all the kids are dying under the sun's burning heat. Oh, really? No wonder the price is so high. Yeah, and you know, my boss is distressed about it. I want to do something, but I have no idea how to do it. Mm, maybe my mom can help. After all, she's a great farmer. My boss is coming. I gotta go. Remember to ask your mom. Thanks. Bye. Hey, mom. I just talked to my friend in New Zealand, and she told me that the kiwi isn't growing well. No kidding? Wow, I'm sorry to hear that. Mom, I think they need our help. Need our help? You mean go to New Zealand now? You know, oh, oh, I don't have time for that. I'm busy preparing for the Taiwan Agriculture Week. This is about the whole world, not just Taiwan. Climate change is a global crisis for all humanity to address. But I was really looking forward to hearing Dr. Zhang speak about the facts of global warming on agriculture. Oh, oh. Don't you see, Mom? Instead of listening to some lecture, we can actually be doing something about it. Uh, okay. Oh, you got me there. This quality is not up to a standard. My efforts have all been vain. Nina, I brought the two special guests to save our kiwi. They are my friends from Taiwan. Hi, I'm Jake and I'm Vivian's friend. 
Hello, I'm Cindy, Jake's mother. I'm a banana farmer. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Nina. I heard that you have some problems with your kiwi fruit. I would like to help. I appreciate that, but I don't think bananas have anything to do with my kiwis. Nah. Now global warming is causing changes in New Zealand's weather. As you can see from the ridiculously high temperature here. And farmers in Taiwan have adapted to this kind of heat since we're at relatively low latitudes. So with my experience in green bananas, I think there must be a way if we can work together. Yes, you're right. I should look to the future and try to find solutions to this situation. But kiwis are inherently heat sensitive. How could we change this? Wait, wait. Why not combine them together? What? Bananas are tropical fruit, right? Which means they have high heat resistance. What's more, we can grow them in every season. This is exactly what kiwis need. Yes, if we can plant kiwis th that way, we can maximize our production capacity. But to my knowledge, grafting doesn't work between these two fruits. With biotechnology, we can insert the heat tolerance gene into the kiwi that complement the weakness. Wait, there's no appropriate laboratory here, so we can't do those experiments. We can use the Taiwan Agricultural Technomark to get assistance from the authorities concerned. Great idea! Let's do it! I have a kiwi! I have a banana! International Agricultural Fair and letting more people share our success. Great idea! Let's go! Welcome to the 2019 International Agricultural Fair. Our guest of the day is a group of young people that use their innovative spirits to address climate change through cross-border cooperation. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the wonderful team, Bawiwi! This is an honor that I never expected to receive in my life. A few months ago, when I was uncertain about my future as an agricultural student. When I was apathetic to global issues, but cared about nothing but my bananas. We made a life-changing decision to reach out to the world and dedicate ourselves to helping others. We were trapped in a difficult situation, but now we are here showing the world that we have the power to change. Yes, but we really is a win-win for Taiwan and New Zealand. Thank you. The Teamwork gives us wings to fly. Oh no, I can't find our money and passports anywhere. Really? What should we do now? Maybe we should try to contact somebody to get some help. Ah, there are some locals right there. Maybe we can ask them for help. Excuse me. We are from Taiwan and we lost our money and our passports, so we need to get some help. You guys are from Taiwan? I know Taiwan very well. My sister Dina worked there for six years. That's terrific, but can you tell us what we can do now? I'm more than willing to assist you. But getting your new passports might take some time, since you have to send the documents to Jakarta. It's actually quite far. Dina, maybe they can stay in our shop. That's true. If you guys don't mind, you can come stay in our boutique shop until I get your new passports. That's so kind of you. I think we can help out in your shop to pay back for your kindness. That's wonderful. But we have one more request. Go for it. You guys are college students, right? Yeah. yeah. Can you be my teachers? I didn't go to school, and Dina usually teaches me when she has free time. Please? No problem at all. It will be our pleasure. Great, then shall we go? I'll take you to our shop. The products 
you make are so beautiful. And very trendy, too. Batik is a traditional craft in Indonesia. But my sister has her own design. It's different from all others. When I was working in Taiwan, I met a really nice boss. She even introduced me to institutions where I could take free courses. I just learned graphic design then. That's why the color you choose are so vibrant and alluring. My sister came back and opened her own shop. I thought our dreams could finally come true. But the business isn't too good. Your products are gorgeous. I think we can help to promote them. I can introduce them on my YouTube channel and it will go viral. I can help set up an online shop so that people can buy your products easily. That sounds great. Alice, can you teach me how to set up a website? Of course, it's my major in college. It's a piece of cake for me, but anyone can learn it very fast. And I can teach you Chinese. How's that? Thank you so much. This means a lot to us. Now, I'm going to go and get your new passports. Bye. Bye. Alex, some of our neighbors are asking if they can come to learn with us. Is that OK? Sure. It will be fun if we have more classmates. Cool. It's like a private school now. Three weeks later. Dina, we've had our passports for two weeks already. And I think it's about time for us to go home. We understand that. We were so happy to be able to stay with you so long. Do you really have to go? I'll miss you guys so much. Don't worry, Kartini. You can have new teachers here. Yeah, our friends are also interested in coming here to volunteer. Yay, our class can continue! They've been away for one year. And they're finally coming back today. I've been waiting for this day for so long. Dina, they're coming. It's so good to see you guys again. How's everything here? Thanks to your promotion, the business has been doing so much better lately. I've sold Batik to people in China, Korea, and even Canada. I'm planning on opening another shop soon. Congratulations. My sister also helped the village build a small school there. Now my friends and I can go there and study together. Dina, what you have achieved is really something. No, no. I couldn't have done it without your help. How about your lives back in Taiwan? I really enjoyed teaching when I was here. So I decided to become a teacher now. As for me, I was inspired by your design, Dina. And now I'm designing my own t-shirt. I brought some for you as gifts. It's cool! I love it! I'm so glad that we all found our own directions and that working together made our dreams come true. Although we come from different places, have different backgrounds, as long as we work together, anything can happen! Thank, Thank you! you. Metamorphosis Seven bottles of milk plus eight packs of cookies equals to one, two, three. Emma! Ah! Stop it! I'm scared of so me. Don't you ever knock? You should have seen the look on your face. It was priceless. If you dare do that again, I swear. Oh, come on, birthday girl. I was just trying to give you a big surprise. A surprise? You mean a heart attack. Ta-da! Surprise! Happy birthday! What is this? An airplane ticket to Cambodia? Are we going there for vacation? Well, kind of. Would you like to be one of the teachers in the CTEP? CTEP? What's CTEP? CTEP is an abbreviation for Cambodian Taiwanese Education Program a non-profitable organization with the purpose of teaching the local children English, Chinese, and computers. So what's the point? We're going to be volunteer teachers there. Who, me? As a volunteer? Dude, if this is one of your oh, funny Oh, come on, jokes. Emma. Come with me, please. I promise we'll have a lot of fun. With you, not a chance. Why should I go? Because I said so. But, Dad, what do you mean? 
I mean, it is time for you to stop being a daddy's girl and start making yourself useful. No, Dad, bad idea. Mom, help me. I don't want to go. Negative, it's our honeymoon. You must go and grow. But I don't want to go to Cambodia. I'm just a student, not a Confucius. Besides, look, over there, there are tons of others who are better than me for this job. I have faith in you, my girl. You're capable of helping others in need. Well, I'm not sure. So why don't you go and find it out? But no Dad. but. Just go and give it a try. I promise you won't regret that. Come on, honey. Let's go to our second honeymoon. No, mommy, don't go. No. Come on, Anna. We're going to Cambodia. Let's go. Slow down. You're going too fast. I can teach. Trust me, you can do it. But what if they don't understand what I'm saying? What if they don't like me? What if they... Everything will be just fine. Oh, here comes the students. Time for class. Please sit down. This is the computer. Please turn it on. I have a question. And this is the answer. I have a question. And this is the solution. We, we have, have a question. question. And we have all the answers. Yes, we got it. Practice makes perfect, and everything's okay. Oh, what a tiring day. Yeah, wonderful. Val? Yeah? Thank you for bringing me along. All the students I taught learned how to use the computer well. I'm a good teacher. You are. That is why I asked you to come here in the first place. You really changed a lot. Yeah, I feel something different in me. You are no longer a daddy's girl. Now you are a super girl. And you're my Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman? Yeah. Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. Five, six, seven, eight. Nobody, nobody but you. I want nobody, okay, nobody. Come, 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 come. Teacher, 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 look. Yes? I found a very useful website. What'd you find? A website that preserves the environment and also provides a questionnaire for us to fill in. And we answer all the questions correctly. They'll donate a certain amount of money to Cambodia education. That's great. So have you finished the questionnaire yet? Of course. I just finished the third questionnaire and won us 300 US dollars. I'm so proud of you. And I found several websites for learning. We can learn math, English, biology, and history on the net. There's also a website that teaches me how to dance. I'm going to be a dancer one day. Hello. I'm going to be an English teacher one day. Excellent. We can find all the information on the web. Like I told you, everything is just a click away. Thank you, teacher. Because of you, we can now depend on ourselves. You're welcome. The honor is ours. But it's sad to inform you that it's time for Zoe and I to leave. Leave? So soon? Well, I guess, I guess we have to return the novels and then to us. No, keep it as a kid. No, we can upset us. It's too expensive. Please accept it. It's too expensive. We believe we put them in the right hands. Really? Thank you. Thank you so much. When can we see you again? Soon. What's more, I will invite some of our friends to join us. Bye. 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 Thank you. Star in the South. 继续开始。University. Yeah, you're Ben, right? Yes, nice to see you, Xinjiang. You're Vietnamese, Taiwanese? Me too. Oh, what a question. I'm Taiwanese Vietnamese, but I have never come to Taiwan until now. I applied for the overseas youth vocational training to be here. What is that? In order to meet the eagerness of the overseas compatriot students like me, they're learning all kinds of skills. Overseas community affairs council provide related training in Taiwan. 
And after we have learned it, we go back to our countries. Oh, in that way, the overseas student like you could help the business expand the trade relationship between these countries and Taiwan, promoting the prosperity. Exactly. Wait, are we here now? Yep, for Mosa University. Here comes the principal. I warmly welcome you on behalf of our school band. They've come at the right time. There's a dinner party held by Vietnamese Youth Alumni Association this Saturday. You should go check it out. Thanks, Miss Principal. That sounds like a fun place. Annie, okay, we can go visit on Saturday. Sure, come in. Enjoy your stay here, Ben. Feel free to talk to me if you have any problem. Ben, welcome here. I'm so happy you come. We're like an overseas family now. So am I. So I will see you on Saturday, right? See you. to the website of Overseas Community Affairs Council to see what the party looks like. Whoa, they did hold a lot of activities for overseas students like Ben and send them back to their countries to help and boost economy. And they even have their own YouTube channel. I think I know what to do in dinner party. Hey, it's Ben. How's your dormitory? The dorm room is fine. I just kind of missing my mom. Don't worry, your mom must be so proud of you. I mean, your whole family must be proud. Actually, I only have my mom and my family. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm also from a single parent's family. I'm with my dad. That's why I can nearly speak Vietnamese. Don't worry, Annie. I can teach you some Vietnamese, like Chúng tôi là gia đình nước ngoài. What does that mean? It means we are overseas family. That's cool. I have to go to bed now. See you on Saturday. Yes, good night. Good night. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the party for every overseas Taiwanese. I'm your host tonight. We all know that it is never easy for overseas Taiwanese, especially teenagers, to leave their countries and come to Taiwan either for studying or working. That's why Vietnamese Youth Alumni Association often holds parties to make connection between each other. Before we start, let's welcome our newcomers. Hello everyone, I feel honored to be here. I just moved to Taiwan for a while. My son participates in the Overseas Youth Vocational Training Program. And after he came back to Vietnam and worked for a couple of years, we decided to come back to Taiwan, the place we belong to. And thanks to the Overseas Community Affairs Council, everything goes well and we finally settled down. Is there anyone who would like to share his or her experience? Yes, please. Hi everyone, this lady reminds me of my mom. I also applied for the Overseas Youth Vocational Program this year, and I hope one day I could go back to Vietnam and work for several years, eventually bring my mom back to Taiwan. It's her photo. I carry it with me to everywhere. Oh, hold on. That photo looks very familiar. My dad always says that Vietnam is a gorgeous country with a big regret. He always wants to visit there, but never actually do it. It seems like there is someone important there. Now, I guess I understand why. Maybe there's a reason for I being with my dad and you having your mom. Maybe there's a reason for you and me encounter each other. Maybe it's because you and me are... Brother and sister! This is so touching. There's nothing more beautiful than a sibling reunion after separation. Well, I think what they say is right. Sometimes a new beginning is even better than a happy ending. Thank you. The third is A Family of Diversity. Talk to you for a bit. Yeah, 
question. I don't see any other question, but I want to get to know Taiwan. Is there any way I can learn about the island? Mm, what do you mean? Uh, it's just that. I just got to Taiwan a month ago, and it's been hard to get to know. Actually, Taiwanese people who know this island enough to help me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me think about it. Hey, can you tell me to? Me? Oh, God. Mm, do you want to get bubble tea first? Oh, okay. sure. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything specific. We've just had a special opportunity to come here to study, and the Taiwanese government's given us money, so we want to make the best use of it. Wait, the government's giving you money? Yeah, they are giving me money to go to this school right now. And my parents are actually in another school where they have special courses and job opportunities for immigrants. Wait, Taiwan does this? Yeah. We are all from countries that Taiwan is trying to get better relations with. There is something called the New Southbound Police. How do I explain this? Mm, Taiwan is really the same. And because of this, it has the power to share a lot of its advantages with other countries. In return, this country allows Taiwan to have more of an international presence, more influence, and escape from the shadow of China. Well, I've actually never heard of this. I learned a lot of my English from Twitter from Australia. You know, mm, who came to Taiwan about a year ago? Will she be affected by this? Yeah, so your tutor might have got a job opportunity in after this policy. The most common job under this policy is language teaching. This way, people coming to Taiwan can get international job experience and the Taiwanese population can be Wow, okay. So I'll convince you guys to come. Mm, what job experience do you want? Wait, so why did you come here? Okay, so my dad actually Taiwanese. He went to Sydney for university and met my mom there. My mom's parents immigrated to Australia before she was born. So she never really got to see Taiwan on the little trip at the time. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got the money to come to Taiwan. But also, my family has really wanted to country anyways. This trip has been a way to get to know this part of my family more. Hopefully, I can also learn Chinese and to have a wider perspective on the world in my time here too. Yeah, that's crazy. So Singapore is already pretty international and people mostly Chinese, but also have a lot of Malays and most of speak English natively. We grew up curious about other cultures in the country and well, it's easy to travel. It's really special to be able to actually stay and study in a place like Taiwan. Oh, wow. yeah, and you? I think it's a little different for me. There are a lot of Taiwan. There are, yeah. and a lot of discrimination. So it's just really amazing to be in an island where everyone looks like me, but also. Taiwan has been expanding solar power technology in Indonesia. The Indonesian government has given me a scholarship to come here to study and learn more about Taiwanese technology so that I can bring that knowledge back home. Yeah, it's like the policy exists for political and economic reasons, but also for us, Australians. It gives many of us a way to get back to our roots. Taiwan is more like that and my That's why we need you to help us. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm starving. We can first go to a night mark and then see what else we can do. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Thanks for watching. The third question for the is Power Up, Power On. Ugh, I can't believe this. 
the batteries are broken again. <coughs> Michael, are you all right? The air is getting worse and worse. I'm so tired of being trapped in the traffic, breathing those exhaust air. <coughs> Indeed. Hey, Michael. Hey, guys. It's been a while since we last talked. How are you doing in Vietnam? <coughs> well, I'm doing fine. How about you guys? We're planning to start an electric scooter business. Wow, that sounds interesting. But why an electric scooter? Well, it's really popular in Taiwan right now. And since air pollution is a severe problem nowadays, we figure we could solve this problem by bringing them to the public. Air pollution? Ah, I have an idea. How about you guys start your business in Hanoi? Hanoi? The population is about 7.6 million, but the number of scooters has skyrocketed. Michael, how many scooters are there right now? About five million. Five million? Wow. It sounds like we can have a pretty wide market there. Yeah. Ah, by the way, I'm in my uncle's scooter shop. And maybe you can give me some ideas. Sure. Uncle, they're my friends from Taiwan. They, they need your work. advice. Hi, this is Wayne. I think, Michael, go fix the bike. Sorry, I heard your conversation about the business. And I think it may be feasible here. You may face some problems though. For instance, Vietnam often suffers from floods, which can damage the batteries easily. Hmm, batteries seems to be a thorny problem. Indeed. Last year, the government announced that scooters will be banned from the capital city in 2030. So I'm thinking about transforming my traditional scooter shop into an electric scooter shop. Oh, really? Yeah. However, I haven't thought of a way to solve the battery problem. Then we will start by finding the solutions from here. If you do come up with a good solution, maybe we can work together. That would be great. We'll get back to you when we have ideas. OK, then. Bye. 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 It's so great that we finally have a chance to visit Michael's hometown. Yeah, but we've heard Michael talk about the severe air pollution in Vietnam. But seeing all these scooters with my own eyes is really a shock. Hey guys! Michael, Michael, you're here! So what ideas have you two come up with? I've been waiting for you to ask this question. Right, so nanotechnology may help us solve this problem. We read a report a while ago about nanotechnology. And it has a lot to do with yeah. waterproof. That sounds interesting. Let's quickly get to my uncle's scooter's job. Sure. Let's go! is under the water for quite a while. Let us do some testing and see if this can work on our prototype. Let's sure. do it then. Yep, put the battery right there. Michael, Michael you go. can do it. Be careful. Whoa, whoa. We did it. Yes. Finally it works. Boom, this is it. This is a good start. This will surely start a new path in the whole industry. Indeed. It's our pleasure to work with you, Hawaii. It is our pleasure to work with you. 
pop out solution. No more pollution. A better air quality for a better city. Let's, Let's work together and change for, for the better. better. A, a new path for you, a new path for you. Thank you. A mission never stops. Emily, who is currently studying at a prestigious university, continues her volunteer service job with her high school teacher, Anna, this year. Emily, I do appreciate that you always come again this year, offer your help to us. It takes some tangible stuff and second computers. It's my pleasure, ma'am. I learned a lot from her service in Cambodia last year. I realized that I can also make the world better, even though I'm just a high school student. You're totally right. I'm happy that the decent seat has been spreading in your mind. This year, we'll be able to have time to Cambodia, and I hope school will we'll keep going. It's going to be another charming afternoon, but I'm content with those nations. They will help a lot. I know what you mean. Because of those second-hand computers, we can now contact the people in Cambodia. Bingo! Now it's time to work. Sure. By the way, Anna, I'm wondering how you began this Cambodian volunteering club at our school. You haven't mentioned it before. Wow, it was a long time ago. I planned a trip to Angawar with her best friend Jessica, and we came across with a woman. Ten years ago, summer in Cambodia. Anna and her best friend Jessica encounter a wounded Cambodian woman on the road. Help! Help! What's going on? I accidentally fell from the tree when I was picking the mangoes. My leg hurt really bad right now. Can you help me get back to my house? Of course! Let me help you. so much for helping my mom. Oh! Would you like to have some mangoes? It's super sweet, tasty, and healthy. They're all my mom's painstaking efforts. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Mmm, they're really tasty and yummy. I bet you saw a good price. Donggua, go put the mangoes onto the truck. Why do you have to send the mangoes away? Because the market in Cambodia isn't big enough for the farmer to sell their product. The truck will send our mangoes to Thailand to find a better chance. I'm sorry to hear that, but why do you plant so many mangoes even though you know there isn't enough market? We don't have another choice. Frankly, we have no spare time, money, or strength to change the way of our life. I see. The lack of public resources is a problem in the first place. But maybe we can do something for you. Really? Thank you for your willingness to help. Have you ever heard of CTAP? I'm one of the long-term volunteers of CTAP Cambodia. CTAP Cambodia? Can you tell me more about it? I don't know that either, Jessica. Tell me about it as well. Simply, it's a charitable organization from Taiwan that can get all sorts of help to make your life better. We can help you by introducing new farming techniques and strategy of promoting your products. Wow, this sounds great. I think I'll join right away. Jessica, why don't you tell me like you're doing these meaningful tasks? Maybe I can give a hand. Anna, you're definitely right. You can give CTAP Cambodia a big hand this time. Taiwan, people who joined can post photos on the web to promote their own products and produce. 
第三十七队表演的题目是《Friendship, Respect and Love Make a World Without Boundaries》。Today is Thailand's New Year. I prepared several Thai dishes. This is Dong Man Go. And this is Ga Pro Mu. And this one is my favorite dish, Dong Yang Go. Mmm, smells so good. I guess Mom will like it. Mom, it's time to dinner. Okay. Aaron, dinner's ready. Okay, Mom, I'm coming. Try something new. Happy New Year! Susanna, what are you doing? Are you mad? Susanna, why are you splashing water on Mom? Sorry. Mom, today is Thailand's New Year. I, I just want to get rid of your bad luck and bring good luck for you. Do you mean the Thai song Grand Festival? Yes, in my country. We were splashing water on elders to remove their bad luck on this day every year. I just want to do this for mom, but... Mm. Don't be angry, mom. Susanna just wants to show respect to you. Whether it is or isn't Thai's culture, since she married you, she must follow our rules. Don't be sad, Susanna. Mom just don't understand your cultures. Hello? What? You said it again. Oh no, how could that happen? What's wrong? Mom, I really injured because of typhoon. My surprise good from Thailand were all damaged. What should I do? Um, actually, Shut up. This is not your business. I'm so sorry. Honey, it's okay. If you need some help, maybe I can help you. How? What can you do? You even don't know how to run a business. Maybe I don't know how to run a business, but some friend of mine, they do run their business very well. Maybe they can give you a hand, but... But what? They are ties like me. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry, Senna. I have no prejudice against new inhabitants. I haven't seen you for a long time. Yeah. How have you been? Um, Are you okay? Well, actually, I need your help. Feel free to tell me. My husband has trouble on business. Mm, okay, I'm going to visit you and see what I can do. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I'm Aaron. Nice to meet you, Aaron. Susanna told me about your problem, so what can I do for you? Mr. Wu, this is what happened because of typhoon. All my goods from Thailand were all damaged. All street vendors stopped working, and my clients extra refund. Mm. Okay, don't worry. I can give you some financial support and introduce you goods. 
Thank you so much. With your help, I believe my business will be back to the track quickly. I hope we'll have a happy cooperation. Thank you, Trace. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Susanna, I'm back. I got to this crisis. Really? Susanna, give me a big hand. Susanna, thank you so much. Without your help, my business will be finished. Oh, don't mention it. I just introduced a friend of mine. Susanna. Yes, Mom. I'm sorry for my bad attitude. And thank you for my son. It's okay, Mom. I'm not angry with you. It's impossible for people to accept different culture in a short time. That's true. Thank you. Anyway, I'm hungry now, so... Susanna, can you make a sour soup again? I you mean a tom mango? Mom, I thought you don't like it. I should try a... Mr. O, I'm coming. Friendship, respect, and love make a world without boundaries. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, uh, so. Uh, First of all, I'd like to well thank the organizers of this uh, this uh, drama contest, uh, the Taiwan diplomatic envoys, and uh, this is my fourth year here, and uh, every year that I come, I learn new things, and uh, this is the second year of the uh, southbound policy uh, policy focus, so. Uh, I'm learning. I'm learning more about the uh, southbound po uh, policy every time I come. It's something I didn't don't really know that much about, but I'm learning more, and uh, it's kind of interesting. And uh, anyway, uh, I'm basically think I need to address the your drama performances and uh, talk a little bit about your strengths and a little bit about the weaknesses. And, uh, okay, so, uh, strengths. Uh, well, I kind of, you know, maybe these things aren't, aren't that important, but uh, I kind of like the artwork and the, uh, and the, and the props, and uh, you know, some, some, some were really well done, and I know it's a little bit extra work, and maybe not that important to the performance, but I, I find it, that it's, I find it, you know, attractive to see some other artwork and creativity in the, uh, in the uh, backgrounds, the background uh, uh, material, okay? And uh, <clears throat> besides that, uh, uh, besides that, I, I like the idea of, uh, you know, focusing on problem solving. So in this, these performances, you're focusing on, on very important educational issues, which we should all be concerned about like environmental issues and uh, or uh, exporting technology or medical uh, you know medical exchange of information and so all of this is you know you know very you know important because we do live in a in a world that has a lot of problems and we should be focusing on this in education solving problems that should be a, probably the main focus of education so i, I like to see this you know and and, and this and these performances you know you are, are kind of, kind of pushing, that, pushing, pushing education in that direction. That's very good. Okay, very positive. Uh, <clears throat> let me talk about. Uh, okay, let me talk a little bit about uh, uh, your performances. Like, if if you have a clear story, and it's easy to follow, that's important. That's why you know, some some of you. Uh, were more successful than other groups because of uh, your story was very clear, but also you know you were you were speaking uh, you were speaking loudly enough and your English was clear enough so that it was easy to follow your story. So this was this was important, okay? Uh, in my you know some of my uh, evaluations, okay. Uh, 
If I could not, if I couldn't, uh, you know, follow, you know, what you're saying, that was a problem. Uh, sometimes you you speak kind of up and down and up and down, and it's like uh, you know, it's hard to tell. You know, it's, it's it, the rhythm is the rhythm of your you know English is a little bit off. Okay, we don't really talk like this all the time. We sometimes don't talk like this. We talk, right? This kind of rhythm is a problem. So, uh, you know, it's like, uh, in, you know, like Chinese, maybe it's because chi you're, you know, you're speaking, you know Chinese, and you're, the Chinese is influencing your English, okay? Now this is normal, okay? This is normal. I think a lot of, there's been a lot of research done on this. It's research on prosody. You know, but in English, we, 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 all, we don't really have a tonal language in English but it's just kind of based on stress, okay? So it's like if I say, uh, I like you, or I could say, I like you, or I could say, I, I like you, right? The stress of my voice changes the meaning, right? Well, in, in, Taiwan, in Chinese, tone, Mandarin, this tone changes the meaning, but in English, it's a, the way we stress words conveys meaning, okay? So, you know, uh, but you're kind of speaking this up and down and up and down way, which is a little, you know, you know, it, it just takes practice, okay? Practice and, and, and prosody and the rhythm of the language. Uh, okay, other problems, so uh, let's see. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, sometimes, uh, you're, you're, you're over-exaggerating your body language. We don't really talk like this all the time, do we? We don't, we don't use so much body language naturally, do we? Do we? <laughs> no, we, we, just, we just kind of, we're like this. This is natural, right? It's not natural to be always emoting and exaggerating your body language. Is it? Right, okay, so this is another problem. Over-exaggeration, okay? Right, so uh, the trick, and, and, and also, you know, this is, is this a speech contest today or a drama contest? Well, your, your drama performances often were more like speeches than dramas. In a drama, you don't, in a drama contest, you don't look at the audience directly. You're talking to each other, and you're acting like you can hear the other person. The two actors are facing each other at an angle like this, and they talk to each other directly, and one actor is listening to the other actor like it's a real conversation, not like you're just direct, directly, directly facing the audience, okay? I've mentioned this before. This is not the first time I've mentioned this, but it doesn't seem to, you know, it doesn't seem to, you know, well, I think a couple of performances, they were really like drama performances. Some of the performances today, a couple of them were like drama performances, but the rest of them were too, too much like a speech and not like a drama performance. A drama, you, even the play, you know, you're going to see, you do a play, the actors never look at the audience in a play. They look at each other. They, they, they stand at angles. They don't look at the audience at all. There's no eye contact. Okay, in a, in a real play, okay? So that's another little problem, okay? Uh, anyway, uh, hmm. anyway, uh, you know, if, if you, you know, feel disappointed that your team didn't score highly or something like that, I, I, <laughs> I really no reason to be that disappointed because, you know, I mean, I, I can think about many times in my life when I've been on teams that failed, okay? And it's really, you know, I still, I still relish the experience of being with the team. And uh, like I was in Little League, I was 12 years old. And we won, we, we, we played the, the first game, I was the catcher. First game, we won. Oh, so exciting, we won. But then the rest of the season, we lost every game. But I still remember the experience of the team, the team, and you know, it was still fun, you know, so. Or like, uh, I've used these sports analogies, or like that I lived in New York City, so I became a fan of the New York Knicks. You know the New York Knicks? 
wow, I, I, I love the New York Knicks, but right now they're, they're, they've got a terrible team, but they have a terrible record. But I, I, have, I have hope that they'll do better because they have a young team and, and, and they're really great players. They're going to be, they're going to be great. And that's, that's the same thing I can say for you if you just keep working at it, okay? All right? Okay, that's it. Thank you. Good afternoon, my fellow judges, teachers, and ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Um, first, I would like to give you my appreciation for giving me a wonderful day. I have been as a judge, one of the judges for more than 10 years in this event. And I think this year's your performance is much, much better than the past years. So congratulations, you did a wonderful job. Um, I have some comments for you. The first one, I do enjoy your poster and your costume. Your costume is very, uh, are all very beautiful. Um, and my suggestion is that uh, some of the poster put to backwards. So I want you to make it a little bit forward so I can see you. And some of the poster are beautiful. However, that your props with the handwriting, you probably want to improve that part. All right, make a computer print it out and then make a sum of your props. That is my suggestion. Um, the second one is you are very creative. I like the theme you choose. I like the topic you choose. Those are good. You have medical theme. You have the science. Commerce, business, those are very good. Um, some of the topics are too similar. So next time, try to surprise your audience and try to surprise your judges. Um, the last one, the uh, third one, is about your passion. Uh, some teams are very persuasive. They speak loudly. So as a judge, I can hear them uh, clearly. But some teams that I really want you to uh, make your voice also naturally, but um, hearable. So please, please improve that part. Um, your gesture, as Professor Mars just mentioned, you some students make too much gesture. Uh, one thing I'd like to remind you, when you say I, I see many students will use their hands like this. I put pat yourself, you say, I am a student, and this is my favorite. I think I like it. You make too, too much gesture on like I, my, and me. So please remember that when you do gesture, you want to, you want to emphasize your words, not to distract the audience. So remember that part, all right? Don't make it um, distract, distracting. And um, some students will do a gesture like this, right? Like you don't know how to handle with your hand. So you just do like this. So remember when you do this gesture, it's like, like you are very nervous. So you pat yourself. So make your hands um, as natural as possible, but don't wave your hands. And next one is about your English. Many of you um, with very good English, I think that I need to congratulate you with that part. But when you use the words, for example, you say, I taste this, it is delicious. I heard delicious many, many times today. So next time, try to use some other words. You know, some words like chew, uh, uh, I chew something, and uh, it is sweet, I like sweets, for example. So remember to use different words. I also like you to put your passion in. Uh, you like this drama, you have been practiced for many, many times. So remember to have some passions in. When you say it is unbelievable, show me your facial expression. Show me that you put your feelings and emotion in. Uh, so don't forget that. Next one is about, uh, the last one is about adequate. Please check it out. Please try to do some research on website. How do you introduce the two parties? Usually you introduce your family to the guest. You introduce a boy to the girl. You introduce an uh, inferior to the superior. So remember, what is the international adequate? Also, when you talk about a, a mirror, usually they will hide, the girls will, a mirror will hide, will put, will cover all the hair. So don't show your hair. So remember how to do this. 
The last one is also the international adequate. In the Western culture, usually they don't say, oh my God, so often. It is not the same religions in Taiwan. In Taiwan, you see that there are always a, a, a poster say, Chang Lian, Amitofo, right? <laughs> Chang Lian, Amitofo. But it's not in the Western culture. They don't say, you call, your, call God in, for no purpose. You say, oh my God, so don't do that. That's why we have a word say, oh my, oh gee, uh, oh my gosh. So don't forget that part because you will be a very good investor in the future and you will represent Taiwan to talk to foreigners. So please remember and try to make some research on international adequacy. That's all my, uh, my comments. And thank you again for giving me a wonderful day. Hello 第二個入圍的隊伍是二號。第八個入圍的隊伍是十號。第九個入圍的隊伍是十三號。第十個入圍的隊伍是十四號。第十一個入圍的隊伍是十五號。第十二個入圍的隊伍是二十二號。第十三個入圍的隊伍是二十三號。好，下一個入圍的隊伍是六號。剛剛好像漏念到六號。第四個入圍的隊伍是二十七號。第十五個入圍的隊伍是二十八號。第十六個入圍的隊伍是三十號。第十七個入圍的隊伍是三十一號。第十八個入圍的隊伍是三十二號。最後一個入圍的隊伍是35號